I am Stan Hartzler. Uh, in uh, 1982 to 1985, I was the K-12 math and science program leader for the Oklahoma City Public Schools, a district of 40,000 students. We have been experimenting with the Saxon Algebra I program. The teachers there found it to be ultimately very successful. I learned a great deal about the power of ongoing review in listening to their discussion of the Saxon program. The Saxon K through 8 books had not been written and published yet. So at that point, we decided that we were going to provide the same kind of ongoing review for the math students in those grades. So what we, we thought was we would take what the students normally did, uh, which was maybe two weeks of addition, and then a week on time, and then two weeks on subtraction, and then uh, a week on money, and then two weeks on multiplication. Instead of having things chopped up, we would have the students practice one add, one subtract, one multiply, and one divide problem every day at the beginning of class. We called these daily assorted review exercise sets. After the first half year of having the students doing this kind of salad practice every day, their California achievement test scores rose from significantly below to significantly above the national average in mathematics. Teachers were sufficiently satisfied with this that they volunteered their time to help write complete sets after that first half year. We also then, after the first complete year, surveyed all 900 plus of the elementary teachers and asked them for their opinion and feedback. We got 622 replies, which is a sensational thing for a survey of that size. And all but two of them were very much uh, praising the, the program. It was all very exci exciting, but also exciting was the feedback that we got from special education teachers who would report any number of students gaining two or three years in mathematics achievement as a result of this ongoing review program. Uh, the special ed coordinator, whose name I think was Jim Nichols at the time, took it upon himself to retest all 5,000 special ed students in the district of 40,000. And he ended up declassifying 2,500 of those students I found it significant that uh, after the first two years of these gains, Eddie Gaylord putting the graph of the achievement gains as the lead story in the Daily Oklahoman. Uh, I noticed this on breakfast time and I, I looked at that and I thought, holy cow, I must be in line for maybe a raise or maybe some flowers on my desk. But they had been going to the legislature there in Oklahoma City begging for extra money for their poor ghetto minority kids who were achieving below the national average. We had destroyed that argument for uh, uh, two, two reasons. One was that now our poor ghetto minority kids were above the national average in their math achievement. And the second thing was that we had not spent any money at all to do get that job done. By contrast, Common Core does not emphasize basic skills. Instead, it substitutes experimental strategies for doing addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And there is no mention in Common Core about anything related to the strategy of ongoing review, that things are written so vaguely in some respects and in such a pointlessly revolutionary way in other places that uh, the students can't possibly keep up with the Oklahoma City students who benefited from this daily assorted review program in the early 1980s.